is forming a new management team to help respond to an outbreak of coral disease off Kauai's North Shore. Hawaii's Department of Land and Natural Resources said black band coral disease is affecting three species of rice corals there. Desa Senas tells us more. A deadly disease is wreaking havoc on the coral in Hawaii and authorities are concerned that this might be a race against time to save them. Hawaii recently formed a rapid response team to address the outbreak of the black band coral disease that is affecting the north shore of the island of Kauai. The team is composed of the Department of Land and Natural Resources, Division of Aquatic Resources, together with a number of partners including the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, U.S. Geological Survey, and University of Hawaii. The black band disease was first discovered at low levels on Kauai in 2004, then identified on the north shore of Kauai in 2012 at 10 times increased levels. The disease continues to negatively affect coral reefs throughout North Kauai. The disease is affecting three types of Montipora or rice coral and gets its name from the black band lesion or wound that it forms on the coral. This lesion will quickly spread, eventually killing the coral colony. For now, the disease is primarily seen in the north shore of Kauai, being particularly more pronounced during the warmer months. Yet there is still very little information that experts can work on. What you see happen when the, when the disease takes place on a montipora, montiporas are all crustose. They'll grow on usually horizontal surfaces, but sometimes slanted surfaces and even vertical surfaces. Uh, you'll see a sloughing off of the coral tissue and a, and a very dark band forming where the disease is, and that band tends to spread. That it, it seems to be especially pronounced and, and spreads more rapidly during the warm summer months. The creation of a rapid response team is just one step that the state has undertaken to address this concern. A website was likewise created to inform the public of the urgency of the situation and facilitate the studies being conducted. Coral animals themselves are the very foundation of the entire ecosystem. So without the corals, if they collapse, you will also have a collapse of the fisheries and the fish populations. So think of it as a foundation of your house. The state government is encouraging the public to do its share in protecting the environment. From Hawaii, this is Desa Senas for Eagle News.